Theories 1 is a series that many of us may take for granted now. After all, it's easy to compare it to its modern equivalents when they're all up on the DVD shelf together. However, it's important to bear in mind that Series 1 was the foundation for everything that followed, and without it, we wouldn't have the revival today. However, did you know Series 1 was almost very different? In fact, at one point, the BBC considered having Tom Baker play the new Doctor. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be going over a little bit of an interesting tidbit I learned in regards to Doctor Who history. Also, if you're new here and you would like to subscribe, feel free to do so. We are trying to overtake a big finish. They're on 25,000. I want to overtake them. Let's see if we can do it. But with that said, let's get into the video. So the origins of this information is actually quite novel. This is from a special edition release of The Green Death, which features a segment on the wilderness years called, ironically, The Unquiet Dead. See what they did there? With Russell T. Davis and Jane Tranter discussing the various tribulations they had whilst getting Doctor Who Series 1 together. Some of the interesting little details with regards to series one include the fact that Jane Tranter wanted to bring back Doctor Who with Judy Dench. Apparently, after some market research, BBC Studios concluded that there was a vast knowledge of Doctor Who, but not much desire to actually see it make a return. It's also alleged that co-producers of the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation wanted to redub Christopher Eccleston in a Canadian voice for their release. However, Russell T. Davis said, quote, you're not doing that to our lead actor. And then there's also a story about the boogeyman of Doctor Who history. Michael Grade, who returned to the BBC in 2004, inquiring as to where the progress on the then under-production Doctor Who revival could be halted, with Jane Tranter quoted as saying, the person who was completely opposed to bringing Doctor Who back was Michael Grade. He thought it was a really bad idea. Mark Thompson then spoke to Jane Tranter about the possibility of stopping making it, and she firmly said no. Elsewhere, it's revealed that in 2001, the BBC wanted RTD to write a science fiction version of Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, but he turned them down saying, if I'm going to do science fiction with the BBC, then I want to do Doctor Who. So you can tell, even in this early phase, Russell T. Davis very much had Doctor Who on the mind. However, the biggest revelation from all of this comes from Russell T. Davis's first meeting with regards to Doctor Who with Mal Young, the BBC controller of drama and serials, from 1997 to 2004. The direct quote from Russell is, I remember actually, I I'm not even going to attempt to do the voice, I remember actually, someone in the room said, why don't we bring Tom Baker back? And we all said yes, and I was sitting there going with anything, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> So, you can tell that even in this early phase, Russell just wanted to get Doctor Who back on the air, and would say anything to get Doctor Who back, including somewhat begrudgingly, temporarily, I suppose, agreeing to the idea of a return of Tom Baker in the lead role. And it's somewhat ironic now, given that he was the one to curtail that idea all those years ago, that his second era will relaunch with the return of a former Doctor actor, this time David Tennant. I know this too. However, I I fully agree with Russell in that that would have been a terrible idea for the show's relaunch. What the revival really needed to be, in my opinion, and I'm sure in the opinion of many others, including Russell himself, was fresh and different from its classic counterpart. It needed to embrace the 21st century. 21st century, Jack. Everything's gonna change. And as much as I adore Tom Baker in that part, it would have undoubtedly soured the idea of a fresh new 21st century version of Doctor Who by placing the most iconic classic incarnation in the lead role again. I mean, it's possible that there could have been some narrative potential in The Return of the Fourth Doctor, or at least a Tom Baker incarnation of the character. After all, the Dark Dimension cancelled project for Doctor Who's 30th anniversary was also designed to do a similar thing, which I've covered in a previous video. However, the Dark Dimension was never intended to be a relaunch for Doctor Who, merely a thank you to the fans for basically sticking around as long as they did. That's not sustainable footing to relaunch a show, so I'm very glad that idea was assuaged. But it is fascinating to imagine a possible reality where Tom Baker, in fact, played the Ninth Doctor, or at least the incarnation of the Doctor that would launch RTD's new era. I highly doubt that it would be the same as the Ninth Doctor we eventually got. I can't imagine 
Dean, Tom Baker telling a Dalek to rid the universe of its filth. If you want orders, follow this one. Kill yourself. I, I imagine the characterization would be quite different to somewhat match Tom. However, it's just very funny to imagine him in that leather jacket. In a post-Time War world as well would be very interesting. But let me know in the comments below what you think about any of this. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you later.